Watch this. Guaranteed. You're going to see purple. Boom. A man working at the U.S. Air Force had to spend several weeks to test the chemicals of a coffee maker. One day in March of 2023, when he was stationed in Germany, detects a weird taste from the coffee he usually indulged in. Thereafter, he purchases pool chemical testing strips to test out the coffee maker. As a result of the test, the chlorine strips turned purple, this meaning the chlorine level was above 15 ppm, which is higher than the normal range. The man installs a camera inside the house, fearing somebody intended to harm him. Shockingly, the filmed video featured his wife Melody Felicano Johnson, in the filmed video pouring an unknown fluid into the coffee maker. Since he was going through the divorce process with his wife, he reasoned she was gunning for his death benefits. Having sat through video, the man conducts the test once more. Tonight's the night I caught her. On video. So let's test this water. It's gonna be purple. For her husband drinking morning coffee daily, she had always replenished the coffee maker with water the previous night. Although the man was gripped with extreme fright, he starts to slowly gather evidence to report after returning to the States. So this morning I checked this coffee maker and the pH and chlorine test came out normal. Uh, so I cleaned my coffee pot out after I made coffee and uh, it drained all day. So I came back this evening and this smells again. 
So I'm going to do a test. She filled up the coffee maker with the indiscernible liquid every night and in the morning of the following day checked whether her hubby had drunk it. However, ever since the man had sensed an odd taste from the coffee, he only shammed to have drunk the coffee every day and actually had not even taken a sip. The man, who was watching the video at his office, picks up a smoking gun from his wife shortly after. Hence he immediately heads home to collect proofs. About 15 minutes ago, while I was at work, I noticed her come over to the coffee maker and she did something. So I've got my tester. I'm going to add the water to see if there's chlorine and pH is off. Pretty certain it is because I saw the, the bleach bottle over here. I saw it being pulled out. That bottle was pulled out. You can smell it from here. I can smell it. Looks fine. Don't know if it'll actually do anything. It'll change it since I've already put it in. But let's give it a shot here. Okay. Let's see if it'll do anything. Look at that. Totally changed. And then you can smell it. Like I can s literally smell this. Fix this here. Yeah, I can literally smell this. You can see it sudsed up. Soapy. I guarantee it's slipped too on the fingers. Yeah, it's slippery. Ugh, gross. <laughs> Just gotta catch it in the States. Like I do every day, I clean this thing out after I test it. This back is very slippery right now from after I rinsed. It smells like bleach. Looks like the bleach has a new location. That purple lid is now over here. Let's see what it smells like. smell doesn't smell after the coffee maker was loaded with water it bubbled up from this the man realizes the liquid his wife was pouring was a bleacher in june 2023 at last the married couple returned came back to the states and it was now the man's turn to take action Even after returning to the US, she did not drop her action, however, her wrongdoings were all videotaped in the camera planted in advance, serving as a proof with which the man reports to the Tucson police. Nevertheless, regretfully, 
the police could not clearly discern what she was pouring. Hereupon, for the sake of a detailed filming of his wife's actions, the man additionally sets up a camera camouflaged as a smoke detector. You can tell by the video from there and from there that I have not messed with this coffee maker. I just arrived home about an hour ago and I figured now I decided I'm going to test this to show that it's definitely tainted. Finally, Melody Felicano Johnson was indicted by a grand jury on charges of first-degree attempted murder, attempting to commit aggravated assault and poisoning food or drink. Johnson remains at the Pima County Jail on a $250,000 bond, according to court documents. If you enjoyed this video, watch this one and don't forget to give us a like, thank you.